here we have, for example, a simple demo of a uh, catalog, a gallery that is running uh, on a storefront. So you're walking on Catherine Street, you have a storefront of, let's say, a guest store, and you can now interact with the storefront. So this is a gallery that can be uh, explored very easily simply by flicking, very, very um, intuitive interface, uh, very similar to an iPad, for example. So you can browse through different products, whether the store is open or closed. Um, and what's very powerful about this is that you can also keep a trace of this even if the store is closed and you can't enter. So let's say I like this item, I can basically choose to add it uh, to my mailbox, basically. And once I'm satisfied, I can tap send right here and send myself an email with uh, that item. So even if the store is closed or I don't have the time to stop into the store to buy it, I can still buy it at a later time or send it to my friends, for example. Um, another possible way is to do it through an iPhone app. So we've built an iPhone app that synchronizes with these interactive screens. So simply by loading the app, it finds my geolocation, synchronizes with the screen and starts talking to it. So by simply shaking my phone, I get the actual item right here. As you can see, it matches what I'm seeing on the screen. I can save it to my items, post it on Facebook, post it on Twitter, ask my network what they think about it, for example. So if I tap save it to my items, I just save it to my list. And later on, I can go back to my list and basically uh, access the item I chose, buy it, go directly onto the retailer's website, or again, post it on my social network. This is what drives an interactive installation um, in a very raw setup. So you have a computer that controls the installation that downloads all the content from an online CMS that contains a complete schedule of content to be run at different times and at different dates. Um, the projector, the computer is connected to a projector that projects the image onto the um, interactive foil. This is the interactive foil that we will typically stick behind the glass. In this case, as we see, it's sandwiched between two panes just to protect it from mobile uh, displays. But typically, we will stick an interactive foil behind this glass so it's completely vandal proof and weatherproof. It'll work through the glass so people on the outside can touch it and interact with it. So the interactive foil has uh, micro wires inside it that all go to this controller here. This is USB connected all the way back to our computer. So in a real life setup, every, all the cables will be hidden, of course, and all of this will be um, hidden behind either a poster or inside a very stylish box uh, so that your storefront appears very natural and you just have an image that's really floating onto your, onto your storefront.